Welcome to the program. We are coming to you live this very morning, right from inside our homeland radio Biafra studio. Today is October thirtieth. 2024, we are on our live broadcast, exposition of the government agents, some people who don't understand what we are doing, some wasn't even didn't even know what they were doing. Some were manipulated. And today, they have stopped because they don't know what we are doing. They have finished the analysis they have. They thought that we are doing propaganda. We told them, don't do propaganda, say the truth. That is why you see us still doing what we know very, very well, because we started with truth. There is no propaganda, and we continue to put it in line. That is what we are here for. You finish the one you know. What is the print? Excuse me, let me just come, please. Uh, I don't know what is the problem with my system now. Mm? And I want to play voice. If this thing didn't work, I will call this program and come another one. It's talking now. Okay, we are back. I don't know. Since my system fell on the ground, I don't know why why it has been disturbing somehow. But we continue. So, that is it. We fight on, we don't stop. We defeated Nigerian government in all their plan. IPOB neutralized them, both local and international. The only battlefront Nigeria have for IPOB and then Amdekano is their recruited agent. This we don't have to explain much for you. All we need is to fight our battle. Whether you understand it or not, that is not our business. We know the, fight, the battle we are fighting. We don't do, we do propaganda, no. That is why we are remaining strong here, right? Because we never shifted from the truth. That is why... This is my mic is trouble on this time. Okay, we continue. So let us hear from Mazen Namdekano because we will use his very voice to handle this matter. But before we listen to Mazen Namdekano, let us read from the screen. You cannot declare Biafra without defending your borders. It doesn't make sense. Mazenam Dekano on Radio Biafra. Then let us listen to him. The day we are declaring Biafra, we are defending our borders that same day. If you see any danger, with that danger will be dead. If they fly the aeroplane, let me start it from, <laughs> I want you to listen to Mazin Amdekan. Just cool down and listen before I analyze. Share the program so that people can join you. 
has that done. Another person came out a few days ago to say he's declaring Biafra. It is an insult to, to, to our collective intelligence that anybody should come out to declare anything without proper consultation. You know, they try to, they try to accuse us of not consulting properly. What we are doing is the groundwork. Our people are Republicans. Our people are Democrats by nature. Everybody wants to be consulted. And when the time comes, everybody will be consulted. As I said before, they tried to push me to declare Biafra, and I said, no, I cannot declare Biafra. I don't have the authority. I am not Biafra. I am a Biafra citizen. Only one person among 70 million people. I don't have that power nor the right to do so. I am not a dictator. The reason why we put IPOB on the straight and narrow is because we need to enforce discipline. There is a level of discipline you require when you are facing a very recalcitrant enemy or when you are surrounded by enemies. That is only what you try to instill inside IPOB. That doesn't mean when it comes to the issue of governance or matters of state, we now arrogate powers to ourselves. No, we're not going to do that. What we'll do is to wait for you black friends to say, now is the time to go ahead. Everybody will be involved. And then Biafra, you cannot declare Biafra without defending your borders. It doesn't make any sense. The day we are declaring Biafra, we are defending our borders that same day. If you see any danger with that danger, we will be dead. In if they fly the aeroplane, we will bring it down. In so we know what we are doing. I don't want us to, I don't want people to rush us. We want to, 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 to cross all the T's and dot all the I's. We know what we are doing. Our people should not be in a hurry. I have nobody is in is in more uh, should I say in need urgent need of Biafra more than myself because we have suffered and have continued to suffer. Mm -hmm. But we must do it accordingly, or else our people will break away. Some of them can run back to Fulani and say this is not what we planned, and they go and connive with them. We want to make sure that every avenue for saboteurs is shut down. Every avenue of the escape will be shut down. People should believe in what we are doing. Our strategy is spot on, oh and we can never fail. I am not. Do you understand? Do you understand now? Do you see where Namdekan is saying? Do you see what he's saying? We, we need to cut off everywhere that the enemy, every escape route. Now he told you. You cannot declare Biafra without defending your borders. But some people are jumping up that they want to be in another man's country and declare their country. Do you see the stupidity? And they now come and tell you that you should not be expecting that um, after that day, they declare Biafra that they, there will be no army barrack. No, that, that the barracks will be there. Do you see the stupidity? If you give a Okay, if you give That after declaring his stupidity, which is not Biafra, after declaring his stupidity, that there will be still... There will still be army barracks. That's what the idiot said. That's what the fool said. So now, what did you understand from there? He said after they declared Biafra, that that is the beginning of the um, nonsense. Do you understand? Mazdan can have said this severally. The day we declare Biafra, that same minute, that same time, our armies will be unveiled. As I, at that very moment, our boundaries will be protected. He said, when we declare Biafra, you defend your borders. And Biafra will be declared in the land of Biafra. Then how can you declare Biafra, as uh, the Simon Ibrima said, he will declare Biafra in Finland. And some recruited idiots and the political agents, we are jumping up. So what we are here to do is to mess up the Nigerian state. How? By exposing their stupidity.
which they call infiltrators, championed by these idiots. You see, we are not children in this battle. We are matured in this battle. We know what we are doing. If IPOB can stand gun, that is, live bullets, today, still go to protest tomorrow. They kill us, we still go to protest next tomorrow, next to tomorrow. They kill us, we still go to protest. You know that if we have gone, if we pick up gone, nobody will stand on our way. Nobody should play with our preparation process to march Nigeria down. We are not in a haste. We will still listen to Mazin Amdikan again. Do you understand? But let us just discuss. Please, ask yourself. Be sincere to yourself. If this idiot was not recruited by government to be giving you fake hope, useless hope, why they keep Namdekan? The same people who told you they want to free Namdekan, they kill the Afran people. Today, they are not talking about free Namdekan. Namdekan is still in detention, uncompromised. The government told them to give you more hope. To tell you that they will declare Biafra when the man that is championing Biafra is in their detention. Do you see your stupidity? Namdekan is in detention. Somebody who told you want to free him, come himself, climb minister. You are not in, you are, are you not insane by the living source person? That the person go ahead and told you that somebody is fighting for Biafra, leading it and in detention. And he told you he want to free the person. He did not say he want to do his own. No. He want to free the person. He blackmail everybody around the, the person. Around the Namdekano. Then he said he going to free him. From there he killed Biafrans. In order to show them he have power. Because government gave him power to do this. If I, if even me, if I incite um, anything that we are going to kill or do this, no. We only report the killings of our own. If I incite it now, they will declare me wanted openly. We are wanted in their list, but in the open. If China Sanguru incite that they will kill, they will, immediately they will move process of his repatriation, his repatriation. But this idiot will be inciting violence, killing, taking responsibility. Now you understand. Now you can understand. But if a radio Biafra broadcaster eventually incites such thing, Nigeria will copy it. They will be replaying it on their program. That is why you can never see where Nigeria do lie or any propaganda against the criminal. But every day propaganda against IPOB. Because they cannot get fought from IPOB. IPOB cannot go against the law. We know it. So whatever you hear from Nigerian government, any news about IPOB is lie. That is what this idiot committed that they will tag on IPOB. Now ask yourself, have Nigerian government say lie and say this is what the criminal do no they cannot lie against him because they are not pursuing him he is their instrument the duty is to commit the duty of the The duty of the Nigerian state is to target an IPOB. That's all. That is why Nigeria can only really do propaganda against IPOB because they are the target. But uh, this man can never say, it's a lie. I did not do it. They never do any propaganda against him. No. Because they cannot report him. They can only report his crimes on IPOB. Are you understanding? Uh -huh. They declared and wanted with the name of IPOB. Are you getting it? Declared and wanted with the name of IPOB. Declared gentle wanted with the name of IPOB. They added mass ticket to them to make sure they connected with IPOB. All of them was declared wanted in the name of IPOB because he leads no organization. But the idiot to say, Simon Eber, Nigerian government declared him wanted with what name? With which name of group? Don't you know we are intelligent? Don't you know we are very, very intelligent? What is the name of the group that is attached to him? 
IPOB, then you know IPOB is the target, not him. You must be very, very sensitive in what Nigeria is doing. If they want to report P2B, they will call the name of his party, Labour Party. You cannot call P2B and call PDP. In, you are trying to, you are targeting PDP, not P2B. He's not a member of the party. Do you understand? So they report the criminal's crime, his activities, with the name of IPOB. Because IPOB is the target. They knew we cannot dance in their tune. They knew. So they recruited somebody who will champion that their tune with the name of IPOB, Namdekano, and ESN. So that their news will be bubbling, IPOB, ESN, IPOB, ESN. So that, because they cannot report somebody, an individual, to the world. It's impossible. They must attach his crime to the name of a group that is existing. He does not lead a group. That's why he ran after we defeated the criminal. He told you no more IPOB. No more ESN. Why? Uh -huh, it's okay now. He ran back and said, no more IPOB, no more ESN. They are now running government in Isaiah. You ask them, which group launched the government in Isaiah? Because the name of organization that launched ESN is IPOB. So which group launched the government in Isaiah? Which group declared government in Isaiah? They must have a name. If there is no name, then you are, support, you are following them, you are a fool. That is why his activities must be tagged on IPOB because Nigeria cannot, a sovereign state cannot report his activity without calling the name of his group. There must be a group that do something. Now you understand why you are hearing IPOB ESN every day. Then if they call, the, the only thing you can, anytime pressure is, you know, they will call the name of the criminal. Still attach it to IPOB. Either they call him factional IPOB, or they call him IPOB Kimpin, or they call him IPOB DC, or the placements of Unam Dekano, or they call him IPOB deputy, or they call him, they must attach IPOB. Anything they talk about him. Are you understanding? Now let us listen to Unam Dekano again. Let us listen, you know, that we know what we are doing. We are not foolish. We are not cowards. Nigeria manipulated people thinking we can fall in. Something they have tested out 2015, 2016, 2017, even 2018, when Namdekanu disappeared for one year, from 2017, September 14, till October 18th, that we heard from him in Israel. One year, we didn't hear from him. They have tested this and we did not go against the law. And this time around, they have to recruit somebody who will be acting in the name of IPOV and the Nam Nam Dekan and the ESN so that Nigerian news will be bubbling, having a, something because the UK asked them for evidence so that they can prescribe IPOV. No evidence. And they have to recruit evidence by themselves. We are here to neutralize everything. We defeated Nigerian government, Nam Dekan defeated them. The only front war they have for us is recruiting people in the name of Biafra to be fighting, killing us, kidnapping us, and Simon Ebrema is championing the killings of the Igbo people ongoing because their operation is not in the east, just in Igbo land. Just not in, in the whole Igbo land. Few five states. That is not Biafra. That is where they were contracted to destroy. Basically, the way they were recruited was the way the Supreme Court recruited Ozodema, Hope Ozodema gave out Imo State totally. As a, a land of blackmailing IPOB, thereby destroying the people of Imo. Hope Uzodema was recruited by federal government in the name of governor. He was forced on the people of Imo. He gave out the land of Imo, the land that does not belong to him. He gave it out for Fulani to use it anyhow, for Nigerian government to use it anyhow. They use it to kill Ahmed Gulak. They use it to kill armies. They use it to kill army couple. They use it to attack prison yard. They say it's IPOB. The whole person, they, ma, that is where he's a criminal. That is where they do sit at home. That is where they do enforcement. That is where they invade communities. That is where army kill. That is where they kill traditional ruler. That is where they kill local government chairman. That is where they cut off people's head. That is where... That is, was why he was recruited through the court to provide the grant for this criminal survivor. 
for these criminals are ever. continue are you understanding so they now give you hope now after they fell from hijacking ipob to be doing their nonsense the government told them to give them hope every day biafra every day biafra every day biafra finally after ipob have cut off their hand from biafra land the only people remaining are the few people they gave gone that is sleeping at the cashew tree at Law Banta, those criminals that are moving from around this zog to many places, killing people, kidnapping people, gentle and their co. That's the only people remaining. So they know they have nothing to do here. Nothing. They are now in exile. Their Biafra is in Finland. They will declare Biafra in Finland. They will defend Finland territory. Because you declare your republic in your country, hold your flag, then occupy everywhere. Protect your boundary. But he told you that Ame Barats will be there. He told you that after his declaration, the Ame Barats will be there. But this is a, somebody who told you you have been fighting army. We are fighting army. I challenge him. He's, he, he's here now. I have challenged him and I will keep exposing him. I will keep, keep making him a stamina. I will keep making him a stamina with my superior argument. He will keep stammering. He said, to, he said there will be Ame Barak. But you had him give Obin's uh, notice after I disturbed him. He said, uh, we are going to Obin's. Uh, one day we are coming. He now told you that after he declared your uh, stupidity in Finland, that the Ame Barak will still be there. Then what, where, are you, where are you declaring? Declaration is to protect your boundary. The addresses of somebody changes immediately. Addresses changes to Biafra immediately. The whole barracks, the army, any Nigerian army here, they see themselves as invaders completely. Are you understanding? And by then, your people will be ready. Now, they can say it is a discussion, everybody will be consulted, everybody will be consulted when time comes. We listen to him now. Everybody will be consulted. You see, this is a cinema they created for you. The criminal in Finland is a cinema. Nigeria have finished acting the film. All they knew is to be slotting the film through the criminal. They give you 150 days. They give you no election. They give you no... Nigeria will end the 25th February 2023, thinking that election will cause trouble. There was election in Biafra land after their shouting. No more election campaign. There is still there. No more collection of eternal revenue. It is still there. Hey, you are doing something. A, a cinema. The, the, the Simon is a cinema. And his solo was uh, just um, Tom Baby. He pressed them. Pim, pim, pom, pim, pom. Biafra will come next tomorrow. They say, hey. Hey, you are doing something. Foolish idiots. Somebody told you he's in charge of ESA. He never show you where they are killing Fulani cow. They will only show you criminals that are driving Siana, which we did not buy vehicle for ESA. And you agreed that the people driving flashy car, driving Hilos, shooting people in township is ESA. You believe them. Because you are a fool. You are an idiot. We launched ESN in the bush. You didn't ask yourself, when did the IPOB buy vehicle for ESN? How can ESN be operating with vehicle? And Nigeria will leave them. You didn't ask yourself, even motorcycle was not parked beside any ESN uh, when they, they were launched. No, any ESN camp. There was no road. We didn't construct road for them in the bush. They operate in the bushes and forests. So where would they be driving the vehicle? Where? Where will they be driving the vehicle? We told you, no, these people are criminals. They came, they say, oh, they are The other one said, they are They one said, they 
These are criminals. On a no cinema, somebody that is on praise, somebody that he cannot control himself because government controls him. Do you understand? It's a very big task, Madi Iwere. They thought it would be easy. Now, after they was not able to hijack IPOB, what do they tell you? There's no more IPOB. <laughs> now, what do you understand from there? I will still play Namde Kano. I, I just decided to come and analyze this this morning. So, let me just see if I can get the some things here. Let me see. Now let us play again. Listen to Mazen Namdekano. Another person came out a few days ago to say he's declaring Biafra. It is an insult to, to, to our collective intelligence that anybody should come out to declare anything without proper consultation. You know, they try, to, they, they try to accuse us of not consulting properly. What we are doing is the groundwork. Our people are Republicans. Our people are Democrats by nature. Everybody wants to be consulted. And when the time comes, everybody will be consulted. As I said before, they try to push me to declare Biafra. And I said, no, I cannot declare Biafra. I don't have the authority. I am not Biafra. I am a Biafran citizen. Only one person among 70 million people. I don't have that power nor the right to do so. I am not a dictator. The reason why we put IPOB on the straight and narrow is because we need to enforce discipline. There is a level of discipline you require when you are facing a very recalcitrant enemy or when you are surrounded by enemies. That is only what you try to instill inside IPOB. That doesn't mean when it comes to the issue of governance or matters of state, we now arrogate powers to ourselves. No, we're not going to do that. What we will do is to wait for you, black friends, to say, now is the time to go ahead. Everybody will be involved. And then Biafra, you cannot declare Biafra without defending your borders. It doesn't make any sense. The day we are declaring Biafra, we are defending our borders that same day. If you see any danger, with that danger, we will be dead. If they fly the aeroplane, we will bring it down. So we know what we are doing. I don't want us to, I don't want people to rush us. We want to, 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 to cross all the things and dot all the eyes. We know what we are doing. <laughs> are you getting it? One night, Makwani here. Hi. I feel you, Makwani here. I can go see Zegi for you to understand. And I want them to know the instrument in a in a hard time. Now, let us read. Okay, let me remove the, not this one first. Not this one first. Are you sure I put it here? Okay. Okay. Am I reading it? Can I see it very clear? Oh yeah, you can read by yourself. Right? Read. He said, let me just go on the red circles. I want to go to the red circles. He says, um, okay, let me just say, he said, in the name of uh, amnesty for ESL. Let us continue. I am the commander. This is where I want to pick. I am commander in chief, that is the criminal saying, of ESM. Are you getting it? I am the commander in chief of ESM and Biafra Liberation Army. At the moment, 
in the absence of Namdeka. Are you all understanding? Now, let us go to the second red circle. We don't have business with Facebook or any interruption. We don't care. Then we continue. ESN is intact. I want you to pick this very point. ESN is intact. This very video, I want this very picture, I will use it to do a very separate video. But I want to bring this to your, to your knowledge again. Maybe they have forgotten. No, I, I don't do like that. Everything is a weapon in my hand. Everything. Anytime I'm used to it. Everything. ESN is intact under my watch and under the Afro Republic government in exile. Right? Until Biafra independence. Are you understanding until Biafra independence? Did you hear what he said? That the ESN eh, is intact under his watch. What is he telling you today? That ESN have been sold to Nigerian government by DOS. Are you getting it? Is that not what he told you? Then you ask yourself, how come the ESN that is intact under your watch, the DOS you sacked, conducted vote of no confidence, they now came back and collected from you and sold it. <laughs> Instead of him to admit that, he can no longer operate with the name of ESN that no, it has no meaning. He cannot control ESN. Rather, he control criminals and operate with the name of ESN. They are not ESN, they are criminals. So, in order to undermine the idiots, he's, the Tom Baby is uh, pressing, uh, in order to divert their uh, attention because they are Tom Babies, he told them, no more ESN. Instead of them to task him about the ESN fundraising they have been giving him, he now diverted and said no more ESN. They have been sold. But look at what he told you. That the ESN is intact. And you didn't ask him, now nah, what about you say it's intact in your hand? How come they collect it and sold it out to the Nigerian government? <laughs> Do you understand? All these things is three namdekan. Okay, Okay, so when you ask yourself, please, or this is it free Nam the canon that actually brought to this? You have to ask yourself. You have to ask yourself. Okay. I'm coming first. There is something I want to bring in again. Hey, hot pot I want to bring. Just follow us. Don't be in a haste. Oh yeah, look at it. Oh yeah, look at it again. Another one. You know, when you see somebody that is under control, he will even forget some. He don't care. He will even be intimidating himself. He don't care. He can. He's not in charge of himself. He's being controlled. Oh yeah, look again. Clarification. ESS, ESN is not fighting Nigeria. What is fighting Nigeria is Biafra Army and resistant fighters. Do you understand? Again, yes, ESN is fighting Fulani Hesmen. Yes, they are not fighting army, right? Uh -huh. Then we continue. Simon Eber is the commander in chief of the Biafra Armed Forces. Right now, he said, keep Namdi Khan out of the fight in Biafra land. Are you understanding? Now keep the keep the ESN he formed out of the fight in Biafra land. The same ESN he used their name to raise fund and told you they are fighting 
the Nigerian government. Hey, we are enforcing it. We are uh, support us. Our men is going to fight the Nigerian army. They are going to do this. We told you. We told you. Finally, in order to promote his own criminal, which was not able to be forced on IPOB, he now said that the ESN is not involved and that you should count them out. Do you understand? He want to promote his criminal gang officially because you cannot promote them with the name of ESN anymore. Do you understand? Are you getting it? Now, let us continue. I want to do just a little exposition. Okay. Let me come again. Now, no, not this one. Oh, yeah. Read, read from here. I want you to understand. I read, read from here. You see the game. The defense headquarters in Abuja has declared some, declared one of the leaders of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Simon Eba, wanted. I want you to get the point. Now, did, did they say they declare leader of government in Eza wanted? No. You see, where Nigeria used the brain of our people, that is why we told them we studied superior argument in the faculty of critical thinking. Right now, if you want to talk about Tinubu, you will talk about his party, APC. You cannot be imposing Tinubu on a, a PDP. It's impossible. Now, if you want to talk about P2B, you talk about his Labour Party. You cannot use the name of PDP to declare P2B wanted. It's impossible. Now, understand the game. The target is IPOB. What they care is the message they pass to the world. They keep attaching the criminal they recruited on IPOB. Even as he later told you, no more IPO because we defeated them. He said there is no more ESN. He said he is declaring government in SI. Nigeria knew that that is rubbish to report him. They must be tagging his crimes on ESN. They don't care. You can never see Nigerian government report and say there is a liberation army. What they do is impossible. So they told him to do that one so that whatever those people committed, all you will be hearing on news is IPOB ESN, IPOB ESN, IPOB ESN camp. If they kill them, this criminal will not say anything because they have been sold out. Anyone they killed, they have finished work with them. Immediately they understand what they are used for because they told them Biafra. Immediately they understand and want to leave. He will call the army to come and kill them. The next one you will hear, IPOB ESN killed the 27. Do you understand? This is the face of the game. This is the face of... Despite all press releases, Nigeria government declared him wanted with the name of IPOB. With the name of IPOB. Because he leads nobody. He's just an individual. Are you understanding? So what do you understand from here? That he was the clear wanted with the name of IPOB. Analyze this by yourself. Why can't they declare him wanted with the name of group he leads? Then you know that Namdekan is the target. Now you know that IPOB is the target. He leads no group. Just people that they round him up shouting money. They don't have organization that Nigeria will be boldly to report to the world. It's impossible. Nigeria cannot be boldly and report an army that said they launched by the group. Nigeria cannot report. IPOB is, an, is a state actor we have from grassroots and we exist different parts of the world. Now we are in charge of our land. When we want to showcase it, we will showcase it 
through civil disobedience. That is to say that the presence of Nigeria here in our land is under force. Not that our people welcome them. Because if IPOB cannot be the, in charge of the government and be given order and people will obey, that means Nigeria is forcibly occupying our land. That is the purpose of our um, civil disobedience. That is why we don't enforce it. Because we use it to play international um, game there. Right? To prove to the world that the governors are being forced on us to rule us. That the senators are being forced to, on us to rule us. The local government was forced on us to rule us. The reason is because our people don't obey them. When they call for a cleanup, they will enforce it. But if we call for sit at home, we don't enforce it. That is to say, automatically we are in charge of the land. Now you understand the game. But the criminal come, he start enforcing and told you he's in charge. He is doing it only in our land because it cannot be presented internationally. You don't use force to tell the world that you are in charge of your land. Are you understanding? That is why Nigeria uses force, killing us to tell the world that they are in charge of the territory and the IPOB is telling the world it is a lie that Nigeria is not in charge of the territory and we always call for civil disobedience to challenge Nigeria presence in our land and we always neutralize them and we win them internationally because after they are shouting hey don't sit at home oh, go to work we sit at home that is to say we neutralize this Nigeria not basically on force no people that Eberima gave tell to sit at home they sit they are afraid of their life because the Eberima have killed their brother so they saw the dead body of their brother killed by Simon. So the issue is that they don't want to die like their brother. But on the issue of IPOB is that they don't want to go to market because they will not meet their customer. They don't want to go to bank because they cannot see a KK that will take them to the bank. They don't want to go to work because there will be no customer. That is the basis of our people in sitting at home on, on that IPOB order. But on a very much order, he don't want to die like his cousin. That's why he sat at home. So compare the two and know what can be presented to the world. That is to say, had IPOB launched army, it will be taken to the UK Secretary, UK Secretary, uh, UK State, UK Secretary of State and US Secretary of State that we have declared the Afra army. They know we are state actor. They will respond. They will tell Nigeria to respond. They will condemn it in the open. But a criminal has been running criminal gang and said they are army. Nobody can report it to the Secretary of State because there is no reason to report criminal gang of a group. A group does not launch an army. A group does not run an army. Understand this. IPOB is not a group. We are a movement, organization, and our name is the name of our land and our people. So we have a good grant. And we are established in different parts of the world. And we maintain civility. And the fight under self-determination. We don't raise gun. Thank you. I can make a chance to I can confirm one. I knew my neighbor. I my neighbor. Right? You declare the criminal wanted with the name of IPOB based on what? Because you recruited him. When the honor wine present the argument, he shall not be a kitty kitty. Kitty with this man who she named me. Yeah, dear, I call him my name back. I'm only name with argument. If you knock at her here, they're not bad here. You're not bad here. You're not bad here. You're foolish. Or you read. Read the people they declare wanted and see if they are IPOB. The people they declare wanted are they are Simon Eba, Tike Dozim, Egede, Zuma, Thank God, Gentle, Flavor, Matthew, Flavor Matthew. David Ndubisi, High Chief Williams, Abo, Ebuka Mwaka, Friday Ojimka, Obiemesi, Chukode, A.K.A. Danchuk, David Ezekwem, 
Chidebube. And Chima will be chin on so careful. AKA Tempo. And others. These are the IPOB members Nigerian Army declare wanted. Now ask yourself, why do they declare them wanted with the name of IPOB? And they say, hey, I'm a declare someone that I want to see the Korean rubber brain. Or the Karana baggy. So you will declare people to be wanted with the name of Labour uh, PDP. It is foolish. It is foolish. Don't you know the party? You will say the presidential candidate PDP, um, uh, Labour Party. Simple. You come not to, you do something, you go and uh, attribute it to, uh, to PDP or APC. It's impossible. Now you know that Ebema is not leading a group. He's just running some people following him. That is why he rushed when I mark him. What is the name of your group? You are not in charge of ESN. Finally, he said, we declare government in SI. We are now running government in SI. What is the name of the group that declare government in SI? What is the name of organization that declare government in SI? Because autopilot is, name of, is not the name of organization. It is a declaration also. The government in SI is also a declaration. So you cannot use the name of a declaration to replace a declaration. It's impossible. So, you must call the name of the group so that Nigeria will be attributing your activities on you and your group. Are you understanding? Now, they only brought Masik Edozim to connect it to IPOB. Do you understand? Then, in other way, to promote these criminals. To begin to tell you that they are fighting, they are doing well, the government is declaring them wanted. Then the main, the main point is to use it against IPOB. That is why you may see Mazichi Kedosim attached. And the army said, see what army said. I read. The defense headquarters in Abuja has declared one of the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Simon Eba, wanted. Are you getting it? Is he IPOB member? No. Is he one of the leader of IPOB? No. Are you getting it? Now, let us see the list. Okay, now go on here. Okay, now go on here. With the truth, right? Okwa truth ka ine je ma yana kwa koma do go kwa simple ine ni huanya gine ba kwa ine ba kwa makin under contract. Iga de rush. Iga mana iga ne keep ya ija roar. Ni hobu na na ina ka is weapon. Utu a karambo i bubble metri ya ya wari hobu lo hono lo ago allo cho drop ona aga kwa. We continue. Now look at the list. They are Simon Eba. Those IPOB declare wanted to look at them. They are Simon Eba, Chika Edozim, Egede, Zuma. You know, all of them. These are Simon Eba criminals. They declare them wanted with the name of IPOB because he runs no organization. ESN is a declaration of IPOB. ESN is a launch by IPOB. Now, that is to say, IPOB launched ESN. Now I ask you, what is the name of the group that declare government in SI? I ask you. I ask you. IPOB call for sit at home. What is the name of the group that calls for Simon Ebrema sit at home? It is only an individual. What you hear is Simon Ebrema sit at home. He runs no organization. Thank you. Are you understanding? Now, as we are watching it, let us still go back and listen to Namdekano. Again. Thank you. Welcome, mommy. Aye, Jimad Nala. Okay, now, Baha Zunala. Name me, Berry. Oh, for the other badges. Now, talk about Namdekano. Oh, God, Namdekano have defeated. Look at the front line in Nigeria government. Eh, Berima. They failed. In hijacking IPOB to run this their madness, then the final decision is uh, because they are all uh, no uh, all uh, removed to Nigeria and happy happy. Eh, by eh, by ego, you enter, you don't enter. Piwage is now a remote Nigeria and happy. 
I see I kill your mother, I see kill. I see I kill your father, I see kill. When a mission fell, the next one is destruction. Kill. Kill. You, you know? So he's now killing our people out of frustration because they wouldn't have gone to this level. They started with killings to show people they have power. Government gave to them. Because if IPOB kill, it will go viral. Even me now, if 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 I if I only inside that we are going to do anything. They would, it will go on news. You will now know they are listening to you. You will know. That's why we cannot be moved. But this one will say everything. There is nothing he will not say. Because he was asked to do so. There is nothing he will not say. What Nam Dekanu cannot even say. He will say it. We say our own on radio based on law. He don't say based on law. He can say. He don't care. He no, no arrest. It's an agreement. Say whatever you like. Even when you can, what you cannot say. So that people will feel he has power. Is the government giving power? Just like Dokobo. Is the government giving power? Dokobo is running a government organization. Do you understand? Government giving power. He's, he's not, he don't have power. That's government. But no government gave him power. It's a power from the people. Do you understand? Power from the people is his power. And that is IPOB. IPOB is the commanding chamber, uh, chamber. That is the commanding source. Not that people that are not IPOB members will not join the battle. When What they are waiting is IPOB command. Then you see those that are not IPOB, they will join. So IPOB is the commanding source. Right? Now Nam Dekano leads us. Are you getting it? Now we continue. Listen to him and compare to the present lies now. Compare to the present lies. Our people should not be in a hurry. I have nobody to sat down. Another person came out a few days ago to say he's declaring Gaffa. It is an insult to, to, to our collective intelligence that anybody should come out to declare anything without proper consultation. You know, they try, to, they, they try to accuse us of not consulting properly. What we are doing is the groundwork. Our people are Republicans. Our people are Democrats by nature. Everybody wants to be consulted. And when the time comes, everybody will be consulted. And I said before, they try to push me to declare Biafra. And I said, no, I cannot declare Biafra. I don't have the authority. I am not Biafra. I am a Biafra citizen. Only one person among 70 million people. I don't have that power nor the right to do so. I am not a dictator. The reason why we put IPOB on the straight and narrow is because we need to enforce discipline. There is a level of discipline you require when you are facing a very recalcitrant enemy or when you are surrounded by enemies. That is only what you try to instill inside IPOB. That doesn't mean when it comes to the issue of governance or matters of state, we now arrogate powers to ourselves. No, we're not going to do that. What we'll do is to wait for you black friends to say, now is the time to go ahead. Everybody will be involved. And then Biafra, you cannot declare Biafra without defending your borders, it doesn't make any sense. The day we are declaring Biafra, we are defending our borders that same day. If you see any danger, we that danger, we be dead. If they fly the aeroplane, we bring it down. So we know what we are doing. I don't want us to, I don't want people to rush us. We want to, 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 to cross all the things and dot all the I's. We know what we are doing. Our people should not be in a hurry. I have nobody is in, is in more, uh, should I say, in need, urgent need of Biafra more than myself. Because we have suffered and have continued to suffer. But we must do it accordingly or else our people will break away. Some of them are wrong. The 7th of December is not after that. Some of you will come and say, oh, there is still many parts. We are going to have them. But let me tell you, if the Vietnamese fought America, what did this criminal say? He said, not after 2nd December, you say, there is still army barrack. Nandekanu said, you cannot declare Biafra without defending your borders. It doesn't make sense. But the idiot told you he wants to declare Biafra in Finland. Now, you know it is impossible. He, he just, um, a federal government um, um, cinema, cinema, 
that idiots will be watching. Only idiots, right? Then he took those idiots as um, his tom baby, so he can press them. They will make any noise. He press them like this. He hey, next week the Afra will come. Do you understand? The idiot will say, hey, immediately next week is rich. He will tell you, I, it's not what I mean. I mean that next week is the beginning of the, the movement. People that have started enter another dimension for long. They, they then tell you that after second of December, that second of December is the mark, mark of their new beginning. Not to restore Biafra, no. To legitimize. To legitimize. That is to say, the Biafra government in exile they are talking about is not legit. I got no more school. You know, in the end, I got out the point. That's why I'm going to watch ball. I'm in a day go commentator. I come in the jam at history and this is my retentive memory. Now, if IPOB expelled somebody or suspend somebody, point here, come in a day, do you understand? Now, what is his point? What is this to legitimize the Biafra government? Not the Biafra himself, because they did not declare Biafra. What they are doing is Biafra government in exile. But he told them he's going to declare Biafra. Now, then, how can you declare it in Finland without defending your borders? That is the question that came to him. He now said, don't expect he now came to wind the brain of the Tom Babies. You know Tom Baby now. Pim. Pum. Uh -huh. That's the idiots clapping. He won now could give them new hope. He told them, listen to him by by yourself. The second of December is not after that. Some of you will come and say, Oh, there is still military barracks. That is we are going to have them. <laughs> but let me tell you, if the So because Nando was out there, he believed. He had to go and have a look. He believed. In what is Shimbaka saying? So no wonder. So it's no longer that they believe. You will declare the Afra when I have marked you. Mark me, Mister. How do you run an army? Why the whole army barracks are intact? Get one. Obi is a barrack. We are coming. We buy lunch. Is that the Afra? Now Finland do. We look at flag. We can have a bar. We have the Afra land. Right. No office, no consultation, no nothing. And on a Finland, they back and around here. I got on no new dimension. I got new dimension. Federal government new dimension. Every day fake hoop. Every day fake hoop. From Finland, they can't know. Nam the Kano is still in detention. Not compromise, though. Somebody is now a crime minister. Somebody declare government in exile. Because the mission is hijack IPOB. Hijack IPOB. Use it to mess up. Then frustrate people. Do you understand? We said no. No, you don't ask where their brain is, Mars. Where the brain of is moronic. No, now everybody following him are not uh, for uh, is not uh, believing in Biafra now. That's the gathering of the enemies of Namdekano. And those that was asking IPOB to take action, yeah, on Namdekano on Radio Biafra. That's their gathering. Do you understand? Our anger is that they came, instead of coming like that, they came with the name of IPOB, came with the name of Nam Dekana, then attacked IPOB. Also claimed to be in charge of IPOB. That is a high impersonation. That is why I say he is a thief, a criminal. You don't know the offense. You don't know what is impersonation. Some of these idiots, I know who am I here, Impersonation is the main agenda. You cannot touch Nam the Kano of your crime. You will be held. Had you not mentioned Kano? That is why Nigeria will be attributing his crime on IPOB because he started mentioning IPOB, mentioning Kano, claimed to be in charge. That is a high impersonation. He wants to sell you out and start doing his own. He wants to destroy you and start doing his own. That is why he brought you in a, a very bad, uh, that is, use your name to operate in a very bad way. So that you'll be nailed, so that they'll start raining. Raining not for real, but falsely to deceive our people.
If they are to reign, to restore Biafra, fine. But they are to deceive our people. And they face IPOB. They divert IPOB. Our people channel them anger on IPOB. They told their free income is a lie. We told them it's a lie. They want to divert you and go and dump you somewhere in the name of Biafra. And by then you have left Kano. So all of them is not that they mean to well. These are the gathering of Namdeka, the gatherings of enemies of IPOB and the Namdekan, gatherings of enemies of Ndibo. It doesn't matter the tribe you come from. Just open Facebook account, join them. As far as you hate Ibo land, the same thing that happened during Pitobi. Hence, you hate Biafra, campaign for Pitobi. It wasn't love. You see, Reverend Father, if you don't get your PVC, don't come to, you don't take Holy Communion. Not because he loved P2B, no. Just because they saw P2B as an opposition to IPOB, to Namdekano, to Biafra. That's why they say, okay, if that is the case, let us support him. Now, they now saw the criminal in Finland as an opposition to Igbo development, as an opposition to Igbo success as an opposition to IPOB as an opposition to Namdekano they now support him so that is the same politics playing there so you don't see people that that is why when they come to address you on what they don't know you maintain what you know you don't care because they don't know they, they are just using brain of idea they see on social media all they do is to join. They don't have identities. They don't have where they came from. They, are, they don't care. All they know that people gather. And that is why when you believe them, you are a fool. People you don't know about, they just open page. They start talking. Because that is where enemies of Biafran, Namdekan, Ndi, Ibo gather. So you will not say where they are their brains. They have brains. Just that they were seeking for opposition to challenge you. They have tried on their own. It didn't work. So they want to be in a group. But who will lead them? Until they saw who will lead them to face IPOB, they join them. So your duty is to defend what you know. Simple. Are you understanding? Are you understanding? Are you understanding? So that is it. The army barracks are intact. You know, declare Biafra. I want to know. Emechano Geru na bus stop. Emechani Geru na bus stop. Bus stop ash. I want to know. People. All of you. Now fight for free. Now they can see Monday sit at home. Give me one. Email a Monday sit at home. Go our people three years. In one need Jasim. Leave Simon. Fight for free. Now in a mental problem. Is it not Simon that came to free Nam Dekan? Did you not say we did not come to free him? So why are you now telling me to go? Why did he abandon Kano? He's now restoring the affair in Finland. Then we and you, who is right? We have been right all along now. We told you we don't love Kano. We hate him. He hates him. He wants to lift himself with the name of Kano. That's why he made all the claim. After all, he now tell you that the, the movement the Nam the Khan is leading doesn't exist. And you don't see it as nothing because you're enemy of Khan. If Khan can be alive and be in detention and the movement he leads doesn't exist, that means he is not agitating for Biafra anymore. Because he cannot come out and start afresh. But you welcome the very incitement instead of the idiot to admit that no, it's not easy for me to hijack IPOB and operate with it. Let me go and do my government in exile. He now told you no more IPOB. He now told you no more ESN. If somebody can tell you no more ESN, what is the signal? He's signaling Nigerian government to kill, to kill Nam the Kano. If somebody says no more IPOB, what is he saying? He's telling Nigerian government to kill Kano because nobody will revenge. Do you understand? Do you understand the game? But Nigeria knew there is IPOB. Full and men know there is ESN. If you are not a full and men Katoria, you can't give a cut of ESN. If you are not Nigerian government federal official, you cannot give account of IPOB. An individual cannot take, talk about the sources of IPOB apart from Nigerian state. Adnari Oni Ibo, Ibo Ma cannot tell you about ESN apart from full and ESN terrorists. So when we are telling you something, you cannot go to our enemy and ask them about IPOB. People who claim to be in charge of IPOB and later they are no longer in charge. 
when people discover and say, how can you be in charge of IPOB? Imapua will be giving press release. How can you be in charge of IPOB? You cannot sign the memo of IPOB. Take a decision sign it. How can you be in charge of IPOB? You cannot arrest, assess Radio Biafra. How can you be in charge of IPOB? You cannot publish Fulani has men killing by ear, um, uh, cows of Fulani that ESN kill because ESN doesn't kill Fulani has men. They kill their cows. They are professional in the job. They chase away the terrorists and they confront their cows. Are you understanding? <laughs> right? I know, my dear, and Nigeria agent never nigger or Torresic and Abatal Am Silipanum Pama. Who are you? Akuzerani of Fuma, we know what we are doing. Right? Yes, and it's professional, right? Show me now one video you see Fulani who's here. No, now. Here, who was the number? Even in action, it was the number, Kega, one. The moral moral. Hence, it really ma, cannot be the first person to publish ESN confronting cow. He has nothing to do with ESN. He only published video of terrorists that operate with a Sienna flashy car. And he lost, provided by the government, packed in the houses of politicians. When they want to move, they will move and start terrorizing people. They will claim to be Umwama. They will claim to be Omochuku. But IPOB did not buy vehicle for ESN. Ask yourself, how can IPOB be having vehicle? They give to ESN. To ride in the bush. Even you that live in the township, did you see road to ride vehicles? It is now you buy vehicle for ESN in the bush. Do you understand? ESN does not have vehicle. <laughs> now you know. So he only published operations of criminals while IPOB ESN command published the operations of ESN killing Fulani cows. They can never have the access to do so. We are the first hand to publish such. But they will publish the crimes of their criminal and call it ESN. Thank you. Welcome, one them. Do you understand? So that's how we have been bringing them down. When we have defeated them, the next one will hold that. No more ESN, no more IPOB. That's this very argument I am bringing. It, if you see what we are using it to neutralize, then you will understand. You see what we are using it to neutralize, you understand. I in the Ronala. I in the criminal Okunono. I got so good. Turn not to stamina completely. I got tired of sorry. Turn us to stamina. Onyenso. I got me gide. Who is you? So he declared that I'm from here. I'm a barakade. He be an Uziogu. He be forty years. So he, what is the meaning of declaring? After declare the Afra, they will see the army barrack. Le kwanom pama. But anywhere ESN enter and conquer, Fulani cannot return there again. They fight and conquer. They fight. They proceed fighting, conquering, keep advancing. Anywhere they conquer is captured already. But your own is killing Biafrans. You never see, I capture this place, local government. No army can enter. I capture this senatorial. No army can enter. This is where we operate. I capture and our people will come to us. Not operation by force. Hi, there is something people don't understand. Do you see why Nigerian army is in danger in our land? Our people did not welcome them. Whatever they want to do here, they will spend money. One, they will enforce people. Two, they will terrorize people. Three, in order to use them and get information. So they will forcefully arrest people massively, not just for one, only one reason, but one of the main reasons is that out of these 50, 100 people, they will get one information. That is to say, they are invaders in our land. If they are our security, they will not kidnap us. Rather, we will rush to them and deliver information we know to them. 
for them to use it and catch the criminal. But because the army knew they are wicked to our people, they cannot assess our people, our people do not welcome them. Therefore, their life is in danger. Therefore, they have to force our people, capture many of them, torture them, and see if they can get at uh, um, information they don't have source to information in our land because they are enemy to the land are you getting it these are things we know now the criminal simon Eberima do not have information about our land because they are criminals in our land but i will be having information about our land because we are genuine to our people therefore our people rushes to us to give us information they know us physically they cannot go to people with gun killing them to give them information no it's impossible now ESN come to save our people, and our people that they are in their place welcomes them. If you reject them, they leave. They will leave. Your life is in danger in a place as a security, a place where they do not welcome you. That is why I now go here in the If the army is operating, I go the reason how they may here. Anything may they will torture you because they need information, but they cannot get it. They cannot assess the people. The people don't anybody that sees them will be afraid. You say truth, you are in problem. The same thing with the police. Police, you say truth, you are in problem. But if it is a place where they are good, if something happens, people will search for information, go and give it to police. Very simple. You see, their work will be easy. People will get for information, give it to the army. The work will be easy. But it will not be easy because they are invaders. Thank you. Thank you. I hear about hot. Ndia me gasi lo tun dia si mata hi na da gabiga. Police gasi. So ndia me hi na gabiga. Oga we are not just the anya no eba for trial. Oh, this is freedom. Oh, the same brain kai geju pa abu na ebe. The same brain I did not hear kai geju abu na ebe. Me run and kebe. Kuchu no dia. I'm a brain. Be a chic. Be a determined. Do you understand? Then I'm with another option. Oh, yeah, the worst dangerous weapon I'm with. Now you want another option. You know, if you have another option, you will take the other option. We don't have another option. So, all I was the dangerous. No, no option B, only Biafra. Oh, yeah, come now, say Nigeria. Oh, don't you know? Do we have any other option? There's no code there now. Nah. There's nothing. No oil, nothing. Everything seems from us. No life. No secret. <laughs> no development. No government presence. No international presence. Apart from foreign criminals that came to steal our resources. We don't benefit from them. They don't have embassy here. So, what option again? The only thing left for us is in Namdekan. At the dying minute. So, what do you expect we'll do? So, tomorrow we'll go and fold our hand. Hey, they will say, nah, this senator will love what he said. Though. Hey, the senator just built a school. He built a port. Do you think it was a port that led Ojuku to Aburi Ghana? He went to Aburi to secure our life. Security only. That was his main purpose. To make sure we live. Why must they be killing us in one Nigeria? No. Just security. Britain turned it and said he's a rebel. He's after resources. He's after this. He's attacking the government. Kaidi Godundo. Because they will take they will take your 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 freedom away from you. Hence, you have the resources. They will put your land under siege. That's what we are facing. Multiple checking point, so that they can be assessing our resources, so that you yourself be conscious of your security, not after your resources. So the time you are planning to secure your life, they will be taking your resources. The more you are dodging the other road, so that you will not meet checking point, the more they are entering your resources and taking it because you are under siege. And I have to work working for what? When you got to do it, but give me a with your body. Give me one to go to Bankata. That is it. Okay, when you should be on to go to Bankata. How about your brother, sister? How can he or she go and bring him here? No, no, no. All I have to do here, that is siege. Siege. You got with him. See, make him remember. Thank you. So that is what we are facing. And before we, we are about to round up, let me remind them. Oga, Erigunu. 
And the obvious is that you don't run any organization with the criminal. So you are just sponsoring him. We have the video. He said, my people are sponsoring me, just supporting me. He did not say our organization. He did not say our organization. You don't run any organization with him. So you cannot demand any money from him. One day he go give. Ima no ma here. Okay, ima. Okay, chene here na plan na reya boche di de director. Look here, she give. Ozubo ane ebu gishi director lota. Ozubo ane nde ame egara. Immediately the army invaded the home of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra and returned without his head. New plan started. Returned without his head. That day, Kaplan will be there. Since that day. Since that day. Since that day. Because they have failed Nigerians. So they want to defend their failure by telling them they stop IPOB. They stop their flag from coming. So they want to divert their attention and say, this was where we spend your resources for. We spend, you use your money to fight IPOB. Are you not, are you not happy that we defeated IPOB? If this country divide, where will you be? So, IPOB, when Nigeria fell, IPOB, that's why they come together. All the government, they told them, see, let me tell you, all of us are involved. We have failed. We have failed our citizen. Hence, we are a government official, present, serving now or past. Join hand to fight IPOB. If not, the citizens will hold us responsible. So we can only defend our failure by defeating IPOB. We can give us cues that we use the resources to stop the Afra agitation. We can give account. We can even... So, that's why you saw them, even when they fell, they now go against international law. Now, after Nigeria have gone against international law, all the politicians, nobody condemned it. That is a extraordinary rendition because it is a collective effort, contribution. They said, all of us have failed, so we must contribute. If you don't contribute, we leave it. Then our people will come after us. If this person win us, if IPOB win us, we are gone. Do you understand? And the main people, after they discuss it in the north and the west, they now push it to the south in position and tell them, see, your people will come after you. If you they can't defeat. They themselves start counting themselves away. The western politicians, northern politicians, they count themselves as if they are not involved. But they have discussed the, within them that they are the main problem. That the northerners will go after them. The certain citizens will go after them. So, but they did not discuss with the Eastern politician. They now come back to them and say, See, if you allow Namdekan to defeat you, you know your people will not allow you to leave. You know, he has exposed you well, well. So, you join us now. That's how they now pick this Southeast politician as frontliners. But all of them are in the vote. Every politician. Everyone, that's why they are dodging. Nobody can go against disobedient to cut order because they were brought into attention what is to be happen. So nobody can counter it. Nobody can counter it. That's why we understood that. How can British allow their citizens to be here? No. Then we need to be sensible. We need to know what we are doing. We need to be tactical. We need to be very, very serious. We do not have to act like fools because British is involved. The players are from the Britain, but this JC we are saying is Nigeria. So don't act foolishly. British cannot allow their citizens to be kidnapped. And upon that, British allowed their citizens to remain in detention after he had discharged is a lie. It is British that kidnapped Kano. So you don't act anyhow. Follow IPOB guideline. We'll guide you to neutralize them. That anger, the kind of gun they should have been shooting in our land, they will vest that anger on us, both through court proceedings, both through the invasion of our land, because we did not give them chance. That is why at times they will stop us from visiting Kano. It is an anger. If we are fighting battle, they will throw a bomb. The anger will, at least, that anger will now dilute in their mind. But there is no reason to come and throw us bomb. So they now throw them the kind of the bomb by denying him access. They now throw them the kind of the bomb by denying him food. They now throw them the kind of the bomb by denying him access to doctor. They now throw them the kind of the bomb 
by keeping him in solitary confinement. These are angers that should have been going on in our land. But in the can is carrying the load alone. They should have been bombarding our land. But after all these things, IPOB refused to create such avenue for the Nigerian state. So when after planning fell, they returned back to government. Government to signal DSS. Oh, yeah, touch on him. Do you understand? That is where they channel their anger. After all and all, if we defeat them, they return to Nam the can. You are the cause. You are the cause. You are the cause. After all, they will still return to us. The game will start afresh. When we defeat them, they return back to Kano. They, first, they bring another anger. Do you understand? It can't stop until you will be freed. Because we keep neutralizing them to provoke them. They will return back to, to Kano. If they succeed on us, they will not touch Kano. But if they fail, they will go back and decide another thing. So that is how it will be. This is things we know. Hence, we did not create a chance for them to come and destroy our land. That's why you see the army, they are now on media, no longer showing their strength. It's now IPOB, ESN, IPOB, ESN. I, all their fight now is on media, media, because they went on media training, media seminar in Aba. So since then, they have dropped gone and they are into media. So this is what we have done to the Nigerian state, and we will continue to do so. We keep neutralizing them. You understand it or not? That is not our business. Our business is to continue on the truth because time for you to understand. Hence, you are truthful. You will understand. Unless you are a liar, you will always welcome lies because you are defending your partner. Yes, you are a criminal. You will always defend crimes because you are defending your partners. That is what I have to say. From me, fearless IPB evangelist, and from here, our Homeland Radio Biafra Studio, it is good morning. Chineke mereme bere. Chineke mereme bere. Come back to Fulani. That's that down. Another person came out a few days ago to say she's declaring Biafra. It is an insult to, to, to our collective intelligence that anybody should come out to declare anything without proper consultation. You know, they tend to they, they try to accuse us of not consulting properly. What we are doing is the groundwork. Our people are Republicans. Our people are Democrats by nature. Everybody wants to be consulted. And when the time comes, everybody will be consulted. As I said before, they try to push me to declare Biafra. And I said, no, I cannot declare Biafra. I don't have the authority. I am not Biafra. I am a Biafra citizen. Only one person among 17 million people. I don't have that power nor the right to do so. I am not a dictator. The reason why we put IPOB on the straight and narrow is because we need to enforce discipline. There is a level of discipline you require when you are facing a very recalcitrant enemy or when you are surrounded by enemies. That is only what you try to instill inside IPOB. That doesn't mean when it comes to the issue of governance or matters of state, we now arrogate powers to ourselves. No, we're not going to do that. What we'll do is to wait for you, black friends, to say, now is the time to go ahead. Everybody will be involved. And then Biafra, you cannot declare Biafra without defending your borders. It doesn't make any sense. The day we are declaring Biafra, we are defending our borders that same day. If you see any danger, we that danger will be dead. If they fly the aeroplane, we we'll bring it down. So the second of December is not after that. Some of you will come and say, "Oh, there is still military barracks. There is still you are going to have them." But let me tell you, if the Vietnamese fought America for years and succeeded in making America to flee, we are ready to fight Nigeria even more than what Vietnamese did. And we detail how this particular... After declaration, Eloa Kuo Gwanam Bama. 